What's up everyone, Ben here again with a scorching hot take on the latest antics from everyone's favourite phony philanthropists, Harry and Meghan. As we all know, an explosive claim was made in a new book, alleging that prior to the birth of Prince Archie, both Charles and Kate raised concerns about how dark the baby's skin might be. The accusations sparked outrage and accusations of racism against the royals. But in recent interviews, our favourite Piers Morgan came out as a knight in shining armour for royal family against Meghan's seemingly hideous plot. Now, I know you guys are excited, so hold on to your chairs, because this one, guys, is going to get really, really ugly. But before we go for this, guys, I want to remind you to subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos as much as possible. Let's take down Megan together, because we've had enough of her pathetic schemes now. So now, initially, when I heard this, I was shocked and appalled like many others. Racism has no place in modern society, much less within the royal family. However, upon further reflection, I have come to the conclusion that these allegations may not ring true. I have followed the royal family closely for years in my work as a critic and writer, while they are certainly not perfect, I do not believe Charles or Kate to hold racist views. Charles has devoted himself tirelessly to the Commonwealth, embracing people of all races and backgrounds. Kate herself has been gracious and warm to Meghan from the start. Knowing their characters, I think we can safely say that Charles and Kate would never make such inappropriate comments about an innocent baby. It goes against everything they know of their values. Now, where could these accusations stem from? In my opinion, it's likely the source is none other than Harry and Meghan themselves, and my man and our favourite critic Piers Morgan also agrees. I mean, ever since stepping down from royal duties, the pair have seemed intent on damaging the reputations of the family. Through public interviews and leaked stories, they have constantly played the victim and lobbed accusations of mistreatment. This latest claim fits right with their pattern. While they do not directly name Charles or Kate, they let the racism allegation linger, knowing it will spark controversy. In fact, Omid Scobie, the author of the book that contains this claim, is known to be a mouthpiece for Harry and Meghan. His so-called scoops uh, come directly from the Sussex camp, Harry and Meghan have created a deliberate strategy here. They make an explosively but vague claim through a friendly journalist, sit back and watch the fallout, then deny involvement. This allows them to inflict maximum damage on the royal family while maintaining deniability. It's cunning, unethical and pedestrian. As Piers Morgan said, the idea that Charles or Kate could be racist is ludicrous. Once their names were made public in association with the claim, it quickly lost credibility. Harry and Meghan continue to play the fools. They want us to believe they're the victims of cruel racist royals, but it's all smoke and mirrors. In truth, they are the ones spitting falsehoods for their own benefit, without regard for the damage done. They want to cling to their status, but also wallow in victimhood. They can't have it both ways. It's time we recognise this despicable PR game for what it is. A self-serving ploy that unfairly drags innocent people through the mud. Kate is now saddened to have her name embroiled in this mess. Can you blame her? I'm ashamed that I once thought there could be truth to the suspicions of racism, but Harry and Meghan's track record speaks for itself. They have squandered any benefit of the doubt through their repeated distortions of truth. No institution is perfect, but the royal family has severed Britain with honour and dignity for generations. They deserve basic decency and fairness, not vindictive potshots and disguises journalism. It's clear that Harry and Meghan will never be satisfied. If not racism, they'll find another slight to justify their grudge. They believe attacking the royals is their path to fame and fortune, but it comes at a cost, fraying family bonds and declining public support. For the sake of the monarchy and common decency, this must stop. I call on Harry and Meghan to reflect carefully on their actions, cease the leaks, stop inflicting damage, take accountability. Only then can the healing and reconciliation begin. That's my blunt take, borrowing from the wise words of Mr. Morgan. Let me know what you think in the comments. Smash the like button if you agree. Has and Meg need an ego check. More piping hot tea coming soon. Stay real, my friends. Ben signing off for now.